know that I have this opportunity. I first want to put out a shout out to my <laughs> three-year-old son, uh, Adili in the back, whose middle name is Barak, and he was born four days before the inauguration. And, um, <laughs> for us to be here, to my husband, of course, and, uh, and to segue that into uh, thanking the administration, um, thanking the State Department and the White House for this incredible opportunity to highlight the work that we all do, and I, I'm just humbled and honored to be in such great company uh, among people who are doing in tr incredible, tremendous work. To share a bit about uh, what I do uh, when I'm not teaching at the University of San Francisco, I'm founder and director of Akili Dada which is a leadership incubator uh, investing in African women. And what we're interested in, in is making sure that African women have access and are fully represented at decision-making tables on the continent and globally. Uh, we look across the world and we see a, a dearth of African women making decisions. And we really believe that if we had more women at these spaces, policies would look different. And so what we're doing is building out a pipeline of educated, well-networked, and empowered African women who can really speak to some of the pressing issues of the continent and of the world. Um, the way we're doing this is investing in young women who are already passionate about social change. We are working with um, young women starting from high school into college and beyond. And these are the brightest young women in the country. And they come from some of the poorest families in the country. And we're working in Kenya at the moment, I should clarify, with plans to expand beyond Kenya, uh, but really proving our model in Kenya first. We work with the brightest young women from the poorest families who are already passionate about social change. Young women who are 12, 13, 14, 15, who have already been doing something in their communities, investing in their communities mobilizing, leading social change projects. And what we're doing is we're helping them do what they do better. We're bringing them to the tools and, and, and the capacity to do the kind of work that they are really passionate about and helping them do it better. So we give comprehensive scholarships to the top schools in the country. These are young women who were already qualified to access these schools but wouldn't have the money to attend school. We've got a mentoring program where we connect professional Kenyan women to serve as mentors to our scholars and we've got an intentional leadership development program where we really where we really say leadership is taught and learned. Um, I've got a wonderful team of staff and volunteers that I want to thank and ultimately what Akili Dada is about is transforming the conversation about who African women are and what African women can do. And I'm really thankful for the opportunity to be able to have this platform and, and 